Hey, what's poppin' you guys? Sizzle here, back again with the Pokemon Black and White 2 uh, live decks. Last episode, we did our usual trade and swarm encounters, and I think we hatched another egg and picked up two more. Uh, or one more. I guess we hatched another one and we traded for shield on. This episode, we're gonna try to hatch that last egg and uh, do the exact same thing, right? We Actually, we didn't do Joint Avenue yesterday. I just realized I completely blanked over it because I was doing other stuff. That's unfortunate. What do we got now? Pedaling Legend, uh, that's for a bunch of, uh, bunch of tiles biked on the bicycle, which I guess we've been doing with how much we've been riding around the region. But yeah, uh, we're just, we're just doing the same usual type of stuff. Let's go actually, before we do anything though, move around all the Pokemon we caught last episode. Because we didn't just catch our, our one encounter, we caught a bunch of hidden ability mons and whatnot. And uh, we got shield on here. And 410 is back, he's here. Okay, so 420, uh, 414, 408. Yeah, and then so 410 would be 2 in here. Cool. And I have to move everything else as well that's in the drop box. We do have some stuff, I believe, that were just pure duplicate encounters. Right, like the hidden ability mons. I believe you're a pure dupe, dupe mon, and we should take your item. Oh, oh whoops. And then a Clefairy here is also, I believe, a duplicate encounter. And we'll put it in the hidden ability box. I mean, these things have their hidden abilities, you know, Slowpoke and, uh, and Venonet here, but... Uh, they are also the encounters that we got. So let's put him in the right place. So that's 61, 67, 73, 79. We're right there. Yep. That adds up. Uh, and you are 48. That's one of the earliest boxes we've seen so far. Okay, that's 41. That's 42. And then that's 48. Perfect. And then... Uh, this is the thing we were gonna trade away. And I believe you were also... I, these things all have held items, it's crazy. But you were also uh, an encounter we didn't have before, so let's go put you in your place. Which is right at the end of this box here. We haven't even caught the rest of the Seismitoad line yet somehow, which is kind of insane for a Gen 5 game. But yeah. Uh, I think this was going to be the start to answer going forward, unless the thing we hatch has the perfect nature or whatever. Uh, but if it doesn't, we're just running with neutral nature, because that's good enough, realistically. Anyway, we got to start checking our X-Transceiver all over the place uh, for our trade for the day. And before we do any of that, let's, let's do the Joint Avenue stuff for the day. I am going to leave a spot open, because I should have a friend of mine that I'll trade or do like a, a mission with. And through that, I'll be able to uh, to get them store here. But yeah, I should have actually... I, I opened up Cerebi to see the Swarm Pokemon. I completely forgot there's Join Avenue. Uh, so I didn't have that open. But let me open that up. Uh, make everyone excited is the raffle shop. We already got one. Let's see. Where do you think I want to go? Where do you think I want to go? Any shop with a female clerk, so it has to be the beauty salon. And yeah, there we go. Got some popularity in the shop. And it's level 2. Very nice, very nice. Cool. And then uh, we got you over here. Collect unique items to surprise everyone. I think that's the antique shop yet again. Yeah, that's unlucky. Where do you think I want to go? I mean, that's the same thing as the last person, so you're going to the barber. Because we don't have any other options for female-specific NPCs. I wonder if there's like a level cap on all this stuff, because I know Joint Avenue goes all the way up to level 100. At least at bare minimum. I think it just goes past that. Um... But still. 
Okay. It would be interesting to have a child working here. Oh. Wait. Oh my god. I'm not going to be able to talk to both of them. No. Uh, oh, oh. What? Take, make, women put great. I think it's going to be the dojo. Dojo, beauty salon, cafe, or nursery. Well, considering our dojo still level one, I'll go level that up. Because having having an auto leveler, we can just spend money on is very convenient for the high levels, like built-in rare candies that we can get every day. I think we're gonna miss the person on the right though. They're already on their way out. Oh shit! Does that reroll them? Because I might have also despawned the scientist, which would be very unfortunate. Please tell me they run fast again. Yes. Okay. Oof. Train people so we want to make them strong, I think, is also dojo. What do we actually have left? We have a florist, we have a raffle shop, we need a market and a nursery. And a cafe. Those are the three things we need. Anyway, uh, the make them strong is, yeah, it's a dojo. I'm gonna go there, you know there. I don't know, but I will know in a second. Any shop with a mail clerk? Well, the dojo could use some levels, but the raffle shop is probably what I want to level up most, so that's where you're going. There we go. And then we should have one more, it's you. Hello, Julian. Uh, we already have a beauty salon. Now, where do you think I want to go? Where do you think I want to go? Any shop with a female clerk? So yeah, the barber's gonna get a lot of business and level up very fast. I think these things unlock everything they sell at level 5, but I'm curious as to if you go past level 5, uh, if they still will level at that point. But whatever. Uh, you're new. What type of people I was from? I'd say at this point we were considered men. Just kind of crazy to think about, but uh, let's not think about it much longer. And what do you gotta say actually before I head out? Sh my most charming feature, it's a, I don't know, cleverness. I'd say it's more just making stupid jokes, but I guess I don't do that too often on YouTube, so it's not even cleverness either, unless you count the Among Us lobbies I dominated. <laughs> that, was, that was some content I did at some point. Still, uh, one of the more fun things I did. Route 6. Didn't we go there before? Let's see. Oh, no, Route 6. So this one is Minin or Plusle, and it is version exclusive. It's very interesting. Uh, this is Route 16, though. But let's see if Yancey's here, just in case. Okay. Where was Route 6? It's pretty far back, I think. Uh, who's over here? Route three, four, five, and then six is oh six is the one above Driftville. That's nice. But yeah, this one is this one is version exclusive. You get either Minin or Plusul based purely on uh, on your version. So for white two, it's gonna be Minin. For black two, you get Plusul over here, and that's that's just pretty cool. Uh, then they do the same thing with Volbeats and Illumis on Route 3, but even though they're version exclusive, you can actually breed to get the other one in your in your game, because gender is random when you're breeding with Ditto. But yeah, let's see what we got. Minin is the goal, and we get it right away, even though they're supposed to be 40% encounter, so that's very nice. And we do only need to catch one, because we we already have uh, something to trade away. We sold the Absol from last episode, because we hatched an egg that we don't need. Um, honestly, I clicked Air Slash like, on autopilot. I'm surprised that put it at the perfect health. Let's see what type of random balls we got to use around here. Um, you know, this thing, nothing's really more efficient, except I think it's considered nighttime at 1 in the morning, so I'm gonna throw a dust ball. We'll see if we get lucky and get it. There we go. 
Get ourselves some mining. Uh, what do I call this thing? I'm gonna call it like mini, like mini mouse. Even though it's not a mouse, it's it's kind of some weird little rabbit thing. I don't really care. All right. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.